hi welcome back so we'll continue our assignment 11 we just finished the straight line method next we are going to do fixed base method so in fixed base method what we do is we extend the slope of pre-event flow until we hit the time to peak so the time to peak is at six hours so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extend this line until t equal to 6 hours like this. Okay. And then what you do is you assume that the, that the direct runoff stops at time n after the time to peak. So in this case I have given you n equal to 4 hours. So which means and that will be after time to peak so six so we are saying that the base flow will or the direct runoff will stop so this is four hour okay and then what you do is you just connect these two points okay and then you assume that everything under these these so I'm just going to name A so A is when the direct runoff starts this is B this is when the direct runoff stops and for the sake of calculations I'm just going to call this point C so all we have to do is find the slope of AC and slope of CB and then we can find values at different timestamps so <coughs> When I did the video for base flow separation methods, we said that you can find this N by using this equation. So A is the watershed area in square miles and N is time in days. So if I really couldn't use this, so to get the, the value of four hour, I had to come up with an area which was extremely so small which was unrealistic so instead of using this formula I'm just giving you n equal to 4 hours and and I think I mentioned when I did that video that this this equation really works for big very large watersheds and may not be suitable for small watersheds so okay so we have point a c and b so what we have done is we have just extended this pre-event flow until we hit the time of peak and you can see it is easy to get the slope of this pre-event flow it is 160 150 140 so this is reducing at the at the slope of 10 cfs per hour which means at t equal to 4 hour our base flow is 1 30 CFS at t equal to 5 hour it will be again I'll just reduce it by 10 so at point C at C base flow is 110 CFS right So all I have done is I have just extended what we had before the direct runoff started. So before the direct runoff started, the base flow was decreasing at the rate of 10 CFS per hour. So I just extended that until here. So this is 110 CFS. Now what we need to do is we need to find the slope of CB. And once we know the slope of CB, we can find what the values are at these timestamps of 7, 8, and 9 hours. So slope CB is 175 minus 110 divided by, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4 timestamps. So if you do that, what you get is, let me do this. So what we get is 16, 16.25 CFS. 
So to fill out this table at again time equal to 3 hour, it is 140. So the direct runoff is 0. So we are looking at this point. So at t equal to 5, so we have 120 CFS. And the direct runoff will be so at at t equal to 5, our total flow is 350. So this will be 350 minus 120. So this is 230. So again, if you are wondering how we got 230, so this is 350 minus 120. So that's how you get the direct runoff. So at t equal to 7 hours, we have to find the slope of CB, which we found. So all you have to do is at t equal to 7, so this will be 110 plus 16.25. So this will be 126.25. And then the direct runoff will be, so at t equal to 6 hours, we have 350 again minus 126.25. So that value comes around. So 350 minus 126.25. I'm doing this on my calculator here. So that's 223.75 CFS. So at 9, you can either do 110 plus 3 times this slope or you can do 175 minus the slope and you should get the same value so for 9 i'm going to let you do that i'm not, uh, and 11 is again easy so at 11 we have base flow as 105 and the direct runoff will be zero so if i have to color this all this is our base flow using the straight line method or oh, sorry the fixed base method And then this is our direct runoff. So the green is direct runoff, yellow is base flow. And this is how you can separate base flow using fixed base method. In the next clip, we will do the final method, which is the variable slope method. And that is my favorite method. So with that, I'll stop here and I will see you soon in the next clip.